okay now we will see the next topic which is one time vendor similar to one time customer we also have one time vendor I am going to show that to you now before we create one time vendor we need to create a, a vendor account group especially for one time vendors so I am going to go here Visible the accounts master data preparation define account group yeah let us create a new one see the reason we have to create a new account group is because the special indicator to denote uh, account group as a vendor account group as a one time account is over here in the account group definition screen you need to check this checkbox only then any vendors created under this account group will be treated as a one time vendor so I'm going to give uh, name as Owen one time vendor check this save it yeah it's saved I'm going to create FK01 let's put Owen press enter number range is not assigned to account group Owen so you need to assign a number range ok let's go go back to Owen again it's under the account group here here, 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 and here. Position to O N. Okay. You need to assign a number range, right? So what you do? Come down here. Create number ranges for vendor accounts. All right. Go to this. Tables add an interval before that I need to find out what number I can give to that uh, interval let's give it as uh, 0 7 because up to 0 6 have been used up already let's give it as 0 7 our trade vendors is using this number range 0 5 right so let's use 0 7 and the number range I'm going to give is five series let me see how many zeros I have to enter one two three one two right five series up to five nine 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 okay I can also specify this externally defined external number range so if I tick this then the number range has to be externally defined within this range or I can do like this ok let's use I don't want to use such a big range I mean I use up to this is so many zeros and five I'm gonna copy this and up to ten okay this is good enough for me because I don't want to use such a long range for this alright zero seven let's save it now you'd assign this number range to the vendor account group Let's call the vendor account group when number range 07 because we have created the number range just now as 07 right this one right save it yeah it's done now we should be able to create the vendor now let's press enter we need to quit and come back again so that it refreshes press enter yeah it's okay now 
It's a one-time vendor. And press save. You need to specify a Recon account with creditors, cash management group. Since it's a required entry, just enter something. Alright, five zero 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 zero. Our our one time and has been created. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna post some transactions. I hope you understand the concept of one time and I'm gonna voice. Alright, I'm gonna post it to this invoice. Sorry, this vendor. Okay, current date, rent amount 100 and save. I'm going to post it to cost of sales, which is laptop, $100. And when I save, you see the difference. If this is a normal account, normal vendor account, and not a one time vendor account then when you save you will generate the document number that's it but since this is a one time vendor account when you try to save the system will ask for the actual vendor name because this is a pool number this is a common number for all the petty vendors that you may, you may have ok that's a, a advantage of one time vendor all the petty vendors that you deal with need not have a separate vendor account you can uh, lump everything under one vendor account number at the same time segregate the amount owed to each and every petty vendor when you save see see this window here this is appearing since this is a one time vendor account so you enter the actual vendor maybe mcdonald's maybe you had a meeting in your deep, uh, company and then you ordered McDonald's for all the meeting attendees. And you want, since this is a one time um, expenses, you may not want to create a, a separate vendor number for this kind of small vendors. So you lump everything under this single number and then enter the final details of the actual details of who the vendor is. Alright, just save it. Let's put a title, maybe enter company. Because McDonald's is a company, and what else? It wants city. It also wants a city, so put New York. And press save. Yeah, it is saved. Press enter. That's it. So I'm going to create one for Burger King. Let's create one for Burger King. Before that, let me show you how the postings have been done. Sorry, it should be FBLN 1N. Nope. Right, open items. See this? posted under this vendor now if you double click okay even though you're showing as hundred dollars owing to this vendor account but you won't know well who is the actual vendor for this so if you want to know that you just double click and you can see the actual vendor who is McDonald's right and you press cancel you can go to go to the detail details of the document over here right I'm gonna post one for Burger King using the same vendor account let's uh, video about it let's pull out the vendor which is 5 series so any 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 vendor accounts using five series is uh, is a one time vendor, right? Because you have specified the number range as such. Now this is going to be two hundred. 
I'm buying from Burger King so you don't have to specify Burger King anywhere here I'll tell you where to specify oops I have to select the cost of sales account cost of sales yep I'm going to save this alright I haven't removed the tax column here it's going to throw an error so I'm going to quit this see it's going to throw an error now let me quit and come again just clear this off yep okay one more time f4 f2 200 this one is so sales laptop 200 I'm ready to save you will ask for the actual vendor just enter company and Burger King because this is another burger company something like McDonald's for those who don't know about Burger King yes and uh, city New York as well and save it and save it or oh, press enter and you're done let's go to the an item display a refresh see the Burger King is over here when you double click you'll know this is Burger King right that's how it works alright the advantage of this is that you're using a single vendor account at the same time all the petty vendors can also be segregated by the actual name business name so you're not compromising anything the advantage is that you don't have to open a separate vendor account for each and every petty vendors which are not trade related all right that's the advantage of one time vendor let's make main payment to one time vendor see how it looks like go to payment I'm going to make manual payment post go to select account number you go to select the account number as this or oh, this uh, bank account number cash in hand or cash in bank doesn't really matter let me choose cash in let's stick to cash in hand then doesn't really matter I'm going to make hundred dollars and open item this open item selection you select the vendor account five thousand five fifty thousand sorry five hundred thousand this one when you make payment you still have to make payment to the common vendor number okay press enter yeah you just select 100 and you're done post it asking for some details do you own you would enter the do you own this is a required entry doesn't really matter come here it's okay simulate again so you make a payment to one time vendor press save that's it I come back here client item display you refresh the hundred dollars is cleared what is spending is two hundred dollars so what I'm trying to say is that you make payment in the normal way to a one-time vendor there's no difference okay right that's about one-time vendor